Hey guys, welcome to another episode. This is Mani Karthik here. Today we're going to review an SEO tool just like SEMrush, but it's a lot more better. It's a lot more simplistic and it's better for users like you who are blog owners or site owners or independent single person entities who are trying to do best in SEO. It's called Ranks. Let's go. Okay, so what I really like about Ranks is that unlike SEMrush or any other, you know, sophisticated SEO tools, Ranks does only three things. And it does those three things really beautifully well. Like if you know, if you've used SEMrush, there's a link in the description, you might want to go and check out and sign up for a demo. But if you've used SEMrush, you know that things are pretty much grand over there in the sense that you can do everything in the best possible way with SEMrush. And SEMrush is my personal favorite SEO tool, but it is a little bit difficult to understand the first time you use it. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, but with ranks, which is not in the league of SEMrush, to be honest with you, it's a different league altogether. It does only three things and those three things it does beautifully well so let me explain you what it is so number one it's a keyword tracker which is what everybody needs right everyone from SEMrush to Hrefs to every other SEO tool you know does the basic rank tracking really nicely and ranks too does keyword tracking but it does in a very nice way and I love the UI and the UX of ranks I don't know how they came about doing this but I think they deserve the kudos because the UX is nothing that I've seen like it's amazing you know for an SEO tool the typical thing is to just cram in everything possible lots of things on the UI lots of buttons everything crammed together but in ranks you won't find that everything is spaced out there's a lot of nice colors a lot of white space the UX is just amazing I think the guys have put in a lot of thought there so kudos to you guys for designing such a wonderful UX for ranks so basically like I mentioned ranks does three things one is the rank tracker which is probably one of the best beautifully designed rank trackers in the world today that at least I have experienced or I have tried okay so the first thing ranks does is it does keyword tracking so just like any other SEO tool this is also a basic keyword tracking tool but it does it very 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 nice and the UX is beautiful so basically you just punch in a bunch of keywords from an Excel sheet or add all those keywords into a big list and you can choose the country where you want to track the ranks for and it'll show you whether the rank has gone up or down for your website and it's very simple as that but I think it's one of the best or the most beautiful rank tracker that I've ever seen because you know in typical SEO software the idea is just cram in everything possible and makes things very complex for you I don't know why they do that but with ranks is actually so much more easier the second thing is very interesting second thing it does is called distribute content so basically distributing content is exactly the same as guest blogging but it is done in a more automated and a better way so let me explain why so within ranks you can choose or find out websites that are ready or agreeing to buy articles from you so basically what it means is it has a big directory of websites which has traffic stats of every website the price of every article that you would publish so it also will tell you how much time it takes for them to publish your article so basically you can search for these websites within ranks.io so you go in there choose a niche so let's say for example internet marketing and then you choose the domain range which means the domain authority range also the expected price and also the estimated traffic or you know you have a less than bigger than kind of an operator so you can use these filters and do a basic search and it'll show you which are the websites where you can publish your article within your budget and then it'll show you it doesn't tell you which website it is it doesn't tell you what the name is but it'll tell you the traffic stats which is pulled from similar web so it's pretty much accurate I would say not accurate but you know it's reliable and then it'll also tell you the price expected and the publishing time so you can send the article once you choose the website that you want to publish your article in and you can send the article and if they approve it your website will show up or your article will show up with the link from that website back to you so, so it's a nice seamless way of publishing guest blogging articles into your website from other websites using ranks.io now you might be thinking what's a big deal right because this is a very simple guest blogging kind of service it's just automated so what's a big deal so one thing I really like about ranks.io is that it sets the bar so high up it's not easy to do it because you know if you look at the price it's not very cheap everything starts from like you know 50 60 80 dollars 100 dollars it goes to even 1000 2000 dollars on very high reputed websites the biggest advantage here is that you have access to these websites number two is that they don't make it look very cheap in the sense that if it was cheap let's say we are talking about let's say one dollar two dollar five dollar that kind of stuff then you know tomorrow every Tom Dick and Harry will be doing this and it, you know they will just game the heck out of the system and you know what's gonna happen tomorrow Google will find it and you know it's gonna show up in their radar and things are gonna go down from there so it doesn't let you do that kind of stuff it just sets the bar so high up in the sense that you can only do this if you're really serious about it like for example if you're only serious about paying hundred dollars or more 
per link per article then this is for you otherwise it's not for you it's also allowing you to set your websites in there to accept guest blogging articles that is a different story but the process itself is very very interesting and it's not the usual guest blogging kind of service which is automated so i like the thought behind ranks.io i like the way that it gives me access to some high reputed websites if i have the budget i might want to go for it and also getting approved on these websites also requires some sort of you know editorial guideline approval. So what that means is you can't just send in a very generic article and expect that to get published in any website out there. They might come back to you asking, you know, you need to add more, they might reject your article. So the approval rate there is, uh, you know, it's not like you send one article to everybody else and they will all approve it. That doesn't happen that way. So that way, I think they've set the standards very high up and which is good for the industry, it's good for the tool, it's good for you, me and Google and everybody else. So that is an amazing thing that ranks has done. Now the third tool ranks does is it also does a little bit of keyword hunting or keyword research. Basically what it does is you can plug in a URL. So it could be yours or your competitors. So it'll show you other keywords which are related to that website and it'll show you the keyword search volume, the frequency, the trend, the keyword CPC, you know, the basics things, but it's all done in a very nice way that you will actually love the tool. Like, you know, when you use more and more of this tool, it's not like you feel like, oh, where do I find this button? Where do I find this button? Or what do I do with this? It's very self-explanatory. Like even a kid can do this. The UX is so well designed and you will actually fall in love with the tool. So that's what I really loved about Ranks.io. It only does three things. And even the third one, the keyword hunt tool is in beta. So it only does three things, but those three things it does really well. I hate the idea of just crying cramming in everything possible into a software just because you can, right? I mean, I'm sure that these guys could have done a lot more things, but then they are focusing on these three things and also focusing on the quality and setting up the bar so high so that, you know, it's not gained or anything like that. So if you want to check out ranks.io, please do that. The link is in the description. If you have any questions about ranks.io, please let me know in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory and you can, you know, figure it out yourself once you try it. If you want to try it, the link is in the description. Do check it out. See you in another video. This is Mani Karthik. Signing off.